Master, because we've got the one, the only, the fuzzy Faizu. Come on in, Faizu. I would love to come chat about your game coming up. Oh, yeah. Hello, Faizu. Hello, are you there? Maybe you're there. Hello, hello. Well, unfortunately, I'm not able to hear him right now. I'll go ahead and poke him. Where are you? You know, maybe you're just shy today. Hello. Hello. Oh my gosh, there you are. The Discord is a little bit broken today, as you may have noticed, so uh, uh, it, it took a, a little bit of time. Um <laughs> To connect to the voice chat, unfortunately, and uh, I'm I'm sorry, I've 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 committed a terrible sin against no. humanity today. What what sin have you committed? Actually, I'm not I'm not a priest. Never mind. Go talk to someone authorized to talk about that. <laughs> you know, what well, what I'm... can I do? Just give you punishment? Is this flagellation? Maybe our way of dealing with sin is making other people suffer. It's a new religion. I've I've uh, I've committed a sin against you and Cusa Grande. Well, I'll forgive you as long as you make other people suffer through this sin. What sin was it? The sin is that I've given people a, a good game. What? Oh no! I know. Wow, I that know. that's worse than any sin that I could have imagined. What game did you give? I have given them uh, a game from my childhood uh, called. Wizkid, the story of Wizball 2. Ooh, Wizkid, the story of Wh the what do you mean the story of Wizball 2? That's it, it's called Wizkid, the story of Wizball 2. That oh, is okay. that's that's the name. It's a good game. It's just so exceptionally weird that it makes weird dreams look relatively normal. Well, uh, don't worry. We'll we'll go ahead and flagellate you a little bit later. Just uh punishment for choosing this game uh honestly though you know uh, people are pe group... people are people are actually arguing that uh this is a bad game uh -oh. um which surprises me they're wrong this is a great game <laughs> i love it i love the optimism there uh you know this group is a group that will not be able to move on to the brackets so generally we give them stuff that tends to be a little bit weirder than bad. So, uh, as far as I can tell, this definitely fits into that category. I'm working on getting the stream captured, and I see this, a lot of yin yang. Th this this game is super weird. I mean, this uh, Kazarani is mentioning in chat. This is an ocean game. It is an ocean game, but it's also a. It, it's developed by Sensible Software, um, who made a lot of very good games. As opposed to uh, ocean. ocean. Ocean Ocean published it. But, uh, yeah, this this is a good game. I'm sorry. You may disagree. We'll find out. But uh, in terms of just how utterly peculiar and weird and... Look, you're going to see some things. <laughs> Let's leave it at that. Brocenter is just trying to get the stream all set up and sorted and all the rest of it. Um, okay, so gotcha. Silent for a moment. Yeah, sorry. I'll, also, I'm chatting with them because one streamer is having a bit of a hard time capturing this. But that's sort of typical when it comes to the Amiga. It's sort of typical when it comes to Cuso Grande. There is always some sort of problem that, that crops up that we don't necessarily expect. Oh, yeah. Sensible software. Like... At first, I thought that you were going to say it was a sensible software company, but then it was just sensible software. That's all. Yes. Sorry, I'm also talking to the runners and clarifying some last-minute bits and pieces. That's all right. We really like the sound of your keyboard. Oh, it's I'm so glad. clackety. It's... I know. I love it. I, I love having a clicky keyboard again. <laughs> well, good.
This game looks beautiful. Okay. This game is bizarre and weird and strange. Um, uh, I, 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 there's not much I can say about this until it starts, and then I think I can try to explain exactly what the heck is going on. <laughs> Yeah, that sounds about right. Let me, let me turn down that Glover. We don't need Glover sounds blasting out. All, all I'm gonna say is this is not a platformer. Oh, really? Despite what, you, despite what you may think by looking at that box art, this is most definitely not a platform game. Honestly, just watching the demo, I thought it was a platform game. But nope. I wasn't watching very closely. I that, haven't actually watched the demo, so I don't know. In that case, what genre would you say this is? Really weird. Really weird genre. Okay. It's unique. Weird, unique. I like it. It occurs Just, to me that I need to set up multi-twitch as well, actually, so that I can yes. commentate appropriately. Yes, yeah, Sensible Soccer is an amazing game, and everyone should play Sensible Soccer. Even people who don't like football should play Sensible Soccer. Sensible Soccer. I'll keep that in mind. It is one of the best and silliest football games ever created. Okay, so setting up multi-twitch. Aussie rules football is what you're saying. Uh, no, that's actually just a fist fight with a ball involved somewhere. <laughs> ah, well, it looks like three out of four of the streamers are live. I'm waiting for the last one to go live. Yeah, we are apparently having some capture difficulties, which is unfortunate, but it does happen. That's, that's the Cusa Grande life. Well, you know what, Faizu? I'm gonna be gone this weekend. I'm going to Yellowstone. Is there anything I should do at Yellowstone for you? Um, I'm gonna stay away from the obvious answer. Yeah, I'm uh, not doing that, okay? No that <laughs> stuff. <laughs> We're not doing it. No, you do that enough in, in video games. Yeah, that's why we have Wolf Quest. But I'm not doing exactly. it at Yellowstone. <laughs> no, you you won't be allowed back. Okay, I'm not gonna set off the volcano. We're gonna do our best there. Okay. It's it's okay. We may be setting off a volcano uh, here instead. In Wizkid. Well, I hope so. Sort of. Maybe. Okay, I'll chat. Yeah, I'll go ahead and go see Old Faithful. That it's like a sin. Just just like your sins, Pfizer. It's a sin if you go to Yellowstone and you don't see Old Faithful. Okay, I'm not gonna steal any baby bison. Oh, trust me, I'll smell the water. Like you go to Yellowstone, that's almost 90% of what you do. Ooh. It smells bad, Faizu. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not kidding you. Because it's got a lot of sulfur in the water. I can imagine that it would smell quite bad, yeah. But, uh, yeah. Which makes me wonder why you'd go there. Well, to see a, see a bubble. To see a bubble up. That's why you go. You see bubbly water and then you smell sulfur. Yeah, that's that's kind of how these things work. Oh, 
I'll go ahead and let you handle that, Faizu. <laughs> Just so that we can listen to your keyboard a little bit more. Mm. <laughs> oh, so nice. That's only slightly creepy. I'm just not saying hearing the typing, Chris. Nice. Just, just regular typing. Okay, so it looks like they're still having a little bit of a hard time capturing. They had to disable a graphic set on the computer, but it caused the game to run poorly. Which is bizarre by itself. I mean, because when you it, disable your your graphics card, it's understandable. I mean, okay, yeah, that, that would <laughs> sort things out, but I mean... There are quite a few ways of capturing it, and none of them seem to be working. And that's really bizarre. Okay, well, go ahead and sit back a little bit. We'll go ahead and... Uh, I, I think Fel may need to do... A quick restart of the computer. That that's what you do when worse comes to worse. Restart. Yeah, I I think Fel tried that before and uh, that actually made it work. Um, but now Fel is saying it isn't working. So I'm I'm super confused as to what the problem here is. Um, so I can talk a little bit about this game. I sure. suppose uh, it's divided into two sections. There is a section where you are just controlling the character's head. Um, <laughs> okay, keep going, keep going. You you are just controlling the character's head, and uh, you have to smash blocks into enemies. Um, and if a block kills multiple enemies, and you know it bounces around the screen, then it might create colour bubbles, which you use to fill up a musical stave at the top of the screen. Um, and when that musical stave is filled in, uh, you get to go to a shop where you can buy items. Um, and uh, you can also go into body mode, where you get your body back, and you can explore the background of the stage and solve puzzles and... Uh, find other ways of progression there. It's a very strange game. Yeah, it... Yeah, yeah, it's strange. <laughs> uh, you know, it vaguely reminded me of another game where you control somebody's head, but that's a very different game than this. It, uh, it's yeah, bad that uh, I can think of multiple games where you control somebody's head. Yeah, this, uh, this, I, I, I'm not kidding, this is, to my mind at least, a legitimately good game. I played this a lot when I was younger, um, and I remembered it a year or so ago, and went back to it kind of hoping that it was terrible, and I could then inflict it upon players in Cusa Grande, and it turned out to be actually as good as I remember. Um, and I was very disappointed. I was then doubly disappointed because it turns out that the DOS version that is floating around on the internet, and I actually prefer the DOS version to the Amiga version somehow, uh, but the DOS version that's floating around the internet is slightly broken um, in that one of the levels doesn't appear to be in the archive and in traditional internet formats, uh, everyone is using the exact same archive that they've stolen from everywhere else and so on. So I couldn't find a properly, fully working version of the DOS game. Um, the other weird thing about this game is that you will skip levels by accident. Oh no. The goal, for their sake, for progression, is to collect as many kittens as they can. 
which is quite thematically <gasps> appropriate for me, I think. Really? You collect kittens? Oh. Yeah. Okay, there I is love a, it. There is a kitten hidden in every stage. Um, but depending on which one you pick up or where you pick it up, it won't necessarily put you onto the very next level. It might bump you forward three or four levels, which means that there are three or four kittens that you're potentially missing out on because you can't go back stages. Um, so there's a fair bit of trial and error in terms of working out which items you need to get, what to do to go from stage one to stage two to stage three. Um, but yeah, for completion's sake, you do need to get all of the kittens. Otherwise, uh, you get to level nine, finish level nine, and you are forbidden access to level ten. So, uh, for the sake of for the sake of tracking, it's the most kittens collected in a single run. I should probably clarify that point. Yay, we actually... Oh, we have all four of our players ready. This is hopeful. Oh, 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 I'm excited. Oh my gosh, so am I. This looks like a video game. I'm also going to... All right, they are all live. I am seeing WizKid on four screens. Let me go ahead and work on getting everything wrapped up so that we can get moving. Just in enjoy the RuneScape music for a tiny bit more. Faizu, I added um, some I'm... RuneScape music to my playlist. I, uh, why? So good. I have the manual open and ready so that I can read out the story. Okay, we'll go ahead and make sure audio is working for Tempestral Stream. What do you mean, oh no, sensible software? Sensible software make good games. McGack 2. I think I added Sea Shanty too because I knew people would get angry if I didn't. <laughs> oh, I really hope that it's 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 so uh, there is so much in this game. I'm really really hoping that we see some of the very weird bits and pieces. And I will say there is a little bit of uh, innuendo in there, but there's nothing. There, there is nothing particularly awful. There's a bit of toilet humor and some slight innuendo, but I don't think it should bother anyone. If you understand it, it's not going to bother you. Okay, we'll we'll go ahead and see. No, 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 we will be absolutely fine with this. The extent that I think if the worst, uh, I say worst, if the most inappropriate thing possible happens, I think that the best we will get from Brosentia is hysterical laughter. Oh, good. Oh, yeah. Whizball, the original, the, the original Whizball is also a really good game. Um, <laughs> but... That's kind of more of a pain to get working, and yeah. Well, I'm going to be doing the countdown. Spam your cats, your music notes, everything that you have for us, because it's going to be fantastic. Oh, look at all those cats. Does Bubsy... I guess Bubsy is a cat of sorts. Uh... Uh, I like the other cats. Okay, as soon as I see movement, I will start our timer. Okay, uh, it looks like we have a game, and some people are starting on the tutorial level. 
I told people to skip the tutorial, but hey, they can go ahead and do it if they want to. Yeah, if you don't pay attention to instructions, uh, that's fine. The tutorial will fill uh, the audience in at least on on uh, on what's what's going on. Oh my gosh, this movement is amazing. <laughs> Okay, it looks like <laughs> some bubbles contain a prize. Yeah. Yeah. Um, bubbles will either have, as you can see on a lot of the other screens, um, they may have a red nose in them, which lets you bounce bricks on your head. They may have teeth in them, which lets you grab onto bricks and fling them at things. Uh, or they may have colours in them, which fill in the notes in the musical stave up above. Oh my gosh. And yes, the, the teeth the teeth are called Thunder Shoppers, which is the best name for teeth ever. Thunder Shoppers? Thunder Choppers. Ooh, I like it. To complete a level, pick up this kitten. Aha! Good luck, soldier. Okay, it looks like Quexel is moving on. Uh, Cards of the Heart is on a little bit of a difficult level from what I can see, just based off of, like, I, I think you have to juggle the yin yang symbols in order to... Uh... I don't know. I'm seeing Cards of the Heart on an entirely different level. I don't know if I'm looking at... if I'm really behind or something. Uh, well, he was juggling before, but I, I think that you have to clear these butterflies out before the other bugs will show up because, yeah, there was juggling going on right there. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just didn't see any yin-yang symbols. Okay. So but, everybody uh, is officially a green head right now. Yeah. Jeez, this game Don't is worry, madness this... and I love it. This game is gonna get so much weirder. So, yeah, what they what they ahead. want to be doing at the moment is trying to fill up the stave and any bubbles that they don't need um, to fill up the stave, they should leave on screen because they will explode into cash when you finish the stage. Ooh. Or when you finish the, the screen, I should say. Does cash help? Oh, yes. How cash so? Cash is super important. But when they fill up the musical stave, uh, they will get to visit the shop. And the shop contains lots and lots of useful things. It contains bits and pieces, you know, the expected stuff like extra lives and extra health and crap like that. But it also contains items that you use in the game's adventure mode. If you look up in the top right, you can see uh, pockets, uh, which is what Wizkid is carrying. And okay. three players have absolutely nothing right now, and Tempestral has a carrot on a stick, which is uh, one of the items you can buy in the shop on this level. Tempestral then opted to go back to head mode rather than body mode to explore things. Uh oh. Which is fine. It is entirely valid. You can get kittens and finish chunks of the game without uh, ever going into body mode. It's just not a good idea if you're uh, trying to finish the game because uh, adventure mode is required to save all of the kittens and get to level 10. It Jeez. looks like Cards of the Heart is in body mode now, so now uh, he can explore the background. He's rung the bell, and there's uh, a door fell down, but there's a dog in it. So, do you ever actually have to go into body mode? Yes. Well, define have to. Like, in order to get cats? If you want to visit all of the levels and get all of the cats, then yes. Gotcha. Cards jumped on top of the well thing there for a moment. Oh, Cards has bought the newspaper. Oh, good. And uh, is back in body mode and has discovered that the newspaper can be used on the door with the dog in it. Uh, opening that up, it turns out it was just a toilet and the dog just needed something to read while it was on the toilet, so oh. now it lets you go through. That's nice. <laughs> okay, this game is kind of a little wild so far. Yep. 
Cards has uh, now discovered that in this area, uh, yeah. Hmm. Uh oh, Poixel can play a crossword. Looks like he's That's doing it. The the crossword is actually really really useful. That will randomly happen when you fail a screen by getting rid of all the blocks without killing the enemies. Okay, how uh, do you do it though? You place down the words, but they have to link up. So the O in lemon would have to go over the O in orange, uh, or you can... the E would have to go over, gotcha. etc. Okay. But uh, this this will give you a huge amount of money if you do it successfully, and you can try it repeatedly. Um, so it's it's not a bad idea to do that. There we but, go. Uh, you can absolutely get yourself into a position where you can't actually fill it in. <laughs> that just feels so random that suddenly we're doing... We're doing Suddenly, this. suddenly a crossword. Okay, help me with icons. Like, how, how many lives do you have? Where are your lives? Do you <laughs> the have lives, lives? The lives are the icon in the top left, which are depicted by country flags. Aha. Uh -huh. Uh... Current health is the stars below that. Okay. And, and then, then below money. that is money and score. Gotcha. Uh, is there a place where you can see how many kittens you've gotten? No, so Kate is going to have to pay careful attention to that, although it's not too difficult to be able to tell. If they finish a level, they've gotten a kitten. It's just a question of uh, which level they've reached. Uh -huh. So it looks like Tempestral has also... The game will automatically use uh, any items on the relevant places as long as you press the button. It will flash up and say Clue or something like that. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Dog was discovered here. That, yeah, discovered that uh, it can stand on that spot and things will open. That means you can go and get the 9 kilo weight. Yes, yeah, so you have to give the dog the newspaper. Wait, you use a 10 kilo weight to get a 9 kilo weight? You use the 1 kilo weight to get the 9 kilo weight, oh, and then you can okay. put that down as well, so it's 10 kilos. Uh, this, what Tempestrill is doing is actually the good way of finishing this level. Um, what you need to do is use exactly what they did there, which makes a donkey appear for no apparent reason. Um, Hi, donkey. Com complete with flashing lights and cameras and all the rest of it. And then you need to jump on it and use the carrots on the stick to, to make it run. Ah, uh, heck um, yeah. I love it. At which point, it will fling you over to the <laughs> bubblegum machine over there. And if you use your token in that, uh, you get some bubblegum. Which and a cat. you can eat and it makes a kitten appear. And then you just need to drop off. And uh, that takes you to round two. Wow. Very nice. <laughs> Oh yes, the world map does actually show you how many kittens you have, so that's useful. You can also finish the level by just beating all of the action stages. Uh, but that will usually skip you forward more than one level. Yeah, <laughs> like so... I'm, I'm so disappointed that nobody has gone down the well yet. Uh, maybe, maybe sometime. I can see that uh, Fel did actually get to the point where the bucket came up in the well, but they, they didn't, uh, he didn't jump down it, unfortunately. Tempestral is loving this game, by the way. Uh, <laughs> they're commenting that this game is awesome, and honestly, I kind of feel the same way. Like, it's a little bit confusing, because who knows what you're doing? It's... it is incredibly weird. Like, it makes no sense whatsoever. It's a fever dream. Yeah, I agree. It's... Like, we've got penguins on a pirate boat. Yeah, it's it's a slightly weird kind of breakout game or, or Arkanoid, except you're using the blocks to hit enemies. And then you've also kind of got a weird environmental puzzle game thrown in there as well. Yeah, how do you... What what do you push in order to change to uh, uh, body mode? You have to uh, get to the shop. Oh, there we go. Um, Fell did indeed go down the well and uh, wound up in the toilet and uh, apparently managed to poo out of the volcano. <gasps> oh, nice. Time to use every <laughs> toilet. 
<laughs> wow, that that volcano is very active, we'll say. <laughs> Does every toilet that was, do that? Yeah, that was that was one of the things that I really wanted to do. If if memory serves, uh, you can actually get bubbles out of that as well. Ooh, they're urinals. Okay, what do these yeah, do? Yeah, in the in the men's in the men's bathroom now. You can use the token there, but you really don't want to. Uh, the urinals are simply the way of actually getting out of this area. Ah, okay. Which, uh, Fel may discover in a moment. Uh-oh. Is it flooding? Oh, it looks like. Oh, no. Yep. So, if you go back to the exit at this point, oh, it looks like Poexel's having issues. Wait, what, what did, what did Katus see? I have no idea. Katus, what, what did you see? There we go, Fel has, uh... Made it back up. Okay, good. Good job, Fel. I... Yeah, Whizball... Whizball is nothing like this game. Oh, the high score screen says, Type your name or rude word in now. <laughs> yeah, that sounds about right for this game. This is... Fun. This is kind of so amazing. It... Cards is getting the donkey. I'm I'm gonna while uh, they're going through these bits again. I'm I'm gonna read out the story from the manual. Please do. A long, long time ago, 1987, Whizball, Wizard, and Niffer the Cat banished Zark from the land of Wiz for being naughty. Everyone lived happily <laughs> ever after. Nifter had eight kittens, and Wizard and Whizball got married and had a kid. Well, oh. Zark came back one night and kidnapped Wizard, Whizball, and Nifter. He threw Wizard and Whizball into dungeons in his castle and put Nifter in the turtle jail on level 9. Your mission as Wizkid is to collect as many kittens as possible, release Nifter from Chokey, which is a British slang term for prison, oh, yeah. and battle on to Zark's castle. Wait, 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 so... I like that the manual specifically says he's stuck in level 9. <laughs> yes. The best... Actually, there are so many best parts of this game. The final battle against Zark, which we are definitely not going to see because that requires finding and rescuing all eight kittens. Um, the final battle against Zark is absolute sheer brilliance. And it is just as mind-bogglingly insane as everything else in this game. I Possibly more so. love it. Specifically, uh, Zark basically agrees that... Uh, it, uh, he, he agrees to, to free... Whizball and Wizard, um, as long as you can beat his high score on an arcade machine, and then you have to play the arcade machine and get a high score. <laughs> so yes, at that point, you do indeed literally have to play an entirely different game. <laughs> so good. I, I love this game. I really do. It's really, really difficult to 100% this game. Yeah, to I... To make it to the last level. I can tell this game is a little bit of a challenge. It... it... isn't... isn't. Uh, it takes a lot of getting used to. Which is kind of why this is... interesting. Oh, there we go. Fel has picked up a kitten. Oh, but nice! That kitten, that kitten takes them to level three. So that is one potential kitten missed. Uh oh. Level three is one of the most sadistic levels in the game, too. But uh, we'll go over that if we find out. <clears throat> and yeah, this this is a five B match, as we call them. This is a match where none of the players can. Uh, progress. Yes. Further into the brackets. So we tend to give them games that are a little bit more weird. And in this case, I've given them a legitimately good game. It's just a legitimately good game that is possibly the weirdest thing you will see this year. 
Wexels. Yeah, I'm just trying to figure out because Wexel just needs a blue note as far as I can tell. Uh, yep, if Wexel gets a blue note, then the shop will appear. But I haven't seen any. He's been hunting for this note forever. There is a degree of RNG involved, I think, yeah. You want to... Notes appear more if you multi-kill enemies. Um, uh -huh. There was... There is something tingling my brain and telling me that there is a way to make specific notes appear, but it's kind of confusing, counterintuitive, and is probably slightly exploiting the game. And yeah, as Dana says, this is absolutely nothing like the first game. What is the first game? The first game... It's also really weird, but is not the same genre as this in the slightest. In a completely different way, it's weird. <laughs> okay. Yes. The first game um, had you restoring colour to the world. It was all in black and white, and you had to pick up colour to uh, colour everything in again. Uh, and if memory served, it kind of played a little bit like Defender, sort of. It was kind of a side-on, not-a-shooter thing. Okay. Uh, and in the action stages, yes. To successfully complete an action level, you have to kill every enemy. Oh, there was um, a blue note right before Poexel died. Screen. Yep. I'm so sad. So it goes when you're a giant green Pac-Man. Sorry, I needed to drink. It's all right. <clears throat> so at this point, it looks like Fell is going through uh, the crossword on stage three. Yeah, I had... Okay, Vesuvius. Okay, they're different different volcanoes. Oh no, he failed! Cards, Cards is on stage four. Four, if memory serves. <clears throat> oh no, scary tree! Has a big nose. What's inside that tree is much scarier. Uh oh. Hopefully we know. see it. We may do. I Brother think... Ducks are probably the worst enemy in this game for what it's worth. Oh, there's the blue note and the red note that's, that uh, Cards needs. There we go. Will we see what's hiding inside the tree? So There's one a of blue the options, one! Quexel got the blue one! Yes! One of the options that's on the screen for cards right there was a uh, hidden screen, which is incredibly useful. Um, because it is basically free money. But uh, instead, cards decided to buy the blue specs and... Uh, that's making it very difficult to see the horrifying clown inside the tree, which works as a weird pawn shop uh, uh -oh. where you can kind of trade items in. Oh, a, a pawn shop. Yes. Okay. A pawn shop. <laughs> okay. I did. I did not exactly hear the same word. <laughs> oh, right. Okay. No, where where you you trade items in? Okay. But, unfortunately, uh, Cards doesn't have any items. The actual goal with that clown is to, uh... <laughs> For the purpose of 100%ing the game, you need to get the uh, spiked drink from the first level, and eventually you can trade that to the clown, at which point you can kind of just take the items. Uh, yeah, the puzzles in this game are strange. Yeah, I can I can Thanks. see that possibly. Okay. Really strange. <laughs> I'm I'm loving chat's reaction to this game. And yes, as Biospark points out, successfully completing 
the sequence of notes at the top and having the coins rain down is referred to in the manual as a golden shower. The manual calls- oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, thank you, manual. Welcome to Cusa Grande. Uh, honestly, I, I would say this game definitely fits the category of Cusa just because of how weird it is. <laughs> And how like I say, this, this 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 game has other than toilet humor, it has innuendo and stuff in there. Like if you know what that is, then that's one thing. If you don't, then it, it's just kind of going to make sense. Yeah, Puexel but if you're talking, to pick up, but if Puexel you're trying to pick up one kitten. Oh, nice! Puexel's got a kitten. I, I love that he has camera on, and he just looks kind of confused about everything. <laughs> Okay, but let's just imagine that you're sitting there talking to your friend, okay? And you're just trying to explain that you stumbled into a bunch of cash and you're like, Oh, I'll use that term that the video game used. And you say, oh, it looks like I got a golden shower. <laughs> what are they going to think? What are your friends going to think about you? Uh, that depends on uh, whether your friends are aware of uh, slightly unorthodox terminology for acts that consenting adults may indulge in. Oh my gosh, okay, moving on, moving on, <laughs> let's, let's go ahead. This stream is PG slash PG-13, let's talk to <laughs> Yeah, if you if you don't actually know what one is, then uh, we're not explaining it to you. Yeah. If, if you if you do know what it is, then you know, good for you. You're old enough to, to know what it is. Oh That's my fine. gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! For all the children watching, go ask your parents. They'll give you a. The, the children will just think that it is a perfectly cromulent term for uh, for for you know. Golden coins raining down. That makes sense. <laughs> Apparently, I shouldn't. <laughs> I shouldn't. <laughs> Never mind. Okay. I'm in trouble. I mean, this 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 I'm is a game trouble. where this is a game where the high score table tells you to put in your name or a root word. Um, this game has a lot of red herring items as well. Ironically, the first stage is the only stage where I think you need every single item. Actually, kids, I'm gonna ask you to go f ask your parents what cromulent means. <laughs> because they probably won't know, okay? Children, that is the most important word, cromulent. I, I, I love the word cromulent, even though it's not a real word. Um, the, there's actually a weird money trick, which I suspect is entirely intentional. Um, which is that if you have full stars and you try to buy another star, it gives you the money. So if you have five stars and you try to buy another star, uh, it will give you the cost of the star instead of deducting it from you. We are working on getting Cards of the Hearts stream back. It looks like it went down. So yeah, just, just give think, us a second. I, I think Cards mentioned that uh, their internet was a bit flaky at the moment. Um, I'm fairly certain they mentioned that. I can't remember if it was because of a storm or something along those lines, but uh, yes, that's not entirely unexpected. And I hope you're all enjoying the music. Oh, I love this. Quack. And Quack. I really, really hope that we get to see one of the most horrifying levels in any video game ever. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh no, you have to defeat television in order to make it to... Uh the nuts. Oh, but that's a game over for Puexel. He's still really starting to get the hang of this, though. I think everybody is. Oh, he wants to type his name and not a rude word. Don't type a rude word, Puexel. I'm watching you, okay? <laughs> this is this is Cusa Grande. 
You are in the trembly realms of the WizKid High Score table. Oh no, he's <laughs> typing Fizu, please. <laughs> Fizu is a rude word, so. <laughs> we have, we do have Smithers in the High Score table, I see. Ah, Smithers. Smithers would play this. Everyone should play this. I'm just jamming to the music. I'm really, really hoping we get to see some of these other levels just on the account of how utterly horrific and weird they are. This game is beautiful. You have no idea. Well, no, I don't. Uh, stage three. Yeah, stage three is mean. Stage three is also, I think, the only stage in the game that you have to complete by beating all of the action stages. But you do really want to go into a body mode and explore anyway, but only if you have two or four bits of health. If you have uh, an odd amount of health, you're just going to die. Now, I do want to say that this group actually sensible software they made a game called megalomania megalomania is great i i just have to say that you know all, all of you sans undertale fans might might enjoy that game so you should go check it out sensible software made a lot of really good games megalomania is kind of a proto real-time strategy game um <laughs> I like the um, <laughs> everybody get your patriotic feelings out there because that was definitely the Star Spangled Banner. <laughs> I'm just going up to see what else Sensible Software made. Cannon Fodder, which was great. Everybody knows Cannon Fodder, and if you don't know Cannon Fodder, fix that. Uh, Sensible Soccer and Sensible World of Soccer, which are great. Megalomania is great. Whizball and Whizkid are great. Uh, apparently, they made sensible train spotting. Aha. Uh -huh. Aha. Uh -huh. Train spotting. Okay. That sounds like apparently, a blast. Sensible train spotting was Sensible Software's last ever Amiga game and was available only on an Amiga Power cover disc. Uh, it is the world's first ever computerized train spotting simulator. The game takes place at a railway station with a view looking over the train platforms. Various trains pass through, each bearing a unique ID number. The bottom of the screen is a checklist of ID numbers, which must be selected by the player as the corresponding train class passes. Uh, this is against the time limit, and attempting to record an incorrect number results in a penalty. That sounds almost like a sort of proto-papers please. It kind of does, yeah. But yeah, sensible. For, for whoever says that, uh, you know, British video games are all bad or something like that, I just kind of point at Sensible Software because they made a load of really good games. You know what? I always give British video games a bad time, but honestly, there are a lot of amazing games coming from there. It's just that they also I mean, have I, infogrames. I... I, I could I could give you good British video games, it's just that this is Cusa Grande, so they either have to be exceptionally weird, or they have to be, you know, uh, terrible. Wait, you gave me Granny's Garden, that was amazing. Granny's Garden is fantastic. I love Granny's Garden. Oh yeah, Infogrames was French, never mind, scratch that. <laughs> and again, they made, Infogrames made good games as well. They, yeah, they, they made one good series of games. And some of their mobile games were good. Anyway, anyways, what I'm saying is uh, that I like to make fun of Faizu. Yeah, pretty much. And I like to make fun of Bro. It's, oh my it's, gosh. It's kind of our conversational dynamic. I mean, we found out that Virtual Bart was made in Utah, so... <laughs> Did we? <laughs> Why, have you I not been listening? This. When, when was this? I, I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember this at all. You know what? Then, then ignore that. <laughs> ignore that little tidbit of information because it might not be true. <laughs> uh, 
I, I, I need a source for this. Someone find out that Virtual Bart was made in Utah so that I can blame Bro Sencha for it. Ah, uh, oh, the bugs! They're attacking Puxel. Puxel, watch out for the bugs. Oh, there were too the many. Bees. Not the bees. Yeah, the uh, the bees are nasty. It is genuinely my least favorite enemy in this entire game is the rubber ducks, though. Because they move at absurd speeds and they will just randomly stop stock still and then jump vertically, which makes them incredibly difficult to dodge. Oh, jeez. Yeah, that sounds like a nightmare. Oh, why Fur Elise? Nobody likes Fur Elise. Okay, not even Beethoven liked it. He always plugged his ears whenever, whenever he played it so he didn't have to listen to it. <laughs> There's things I want to say in response to that statement, but I'm just going to give it a pass. I'll let chat take that one. <laughs> yeah, so it became... Sculptured Software eventually became Acclaimed Salt Lake. And they made Virtual Bart. So there you go. So clearly I do indeed need to visit Salt Lake at some point. Um as kind of a pilgrimage to set fire to the site where that game was made. <laughs> oh, Acclaim, if you're listening to this stream right now, we have nothing but love and admiration for you. <coughs> um, I don't know, was it Acclaim that tried to get someone to put their logo on their grandmother's gravestone as a publicity stunt? Ah, uh, never mind. We'll go ahead and say it. never mind. I, I, yeah. I claim did that wasn't their only very weird publicity stunt uh, that backfired horrifically. An acclaims, an acclaims game gave you a nightmare, Lady Amygdala. An infogrames game gave me nightmares. Mind you, that was a one in the dark, and it was a good game. But yeah, that's that's fair. Which which game which game was that, Amy? I'm curious. Uh, acclaim was Turok, and that was what they did. Masters of Holy. Uh oh. Uh, watch out for the butterflies. Okay, fell. Did get injured by butterflies. That's never what you want to happen. Okay, here's what, what's weird, because I've noticed that Fel has actually had, like, the country flags at the top left, but the other streams don't appear to have that. I, I don't know, it's weird. They are out of lives. Well, sometimes I see them die, but then they keep playing. They're not game over. Uh, I don't know if that might be a capture issue then, I'm not sure. To have a capture issue like Shouldn't that for three though? out of four streams is kind of surprising, though. I mean, it's I mean I'm certainly certain I've I'm, I've seen lives on basically everyone's um, screen at one point or another. I can't see any right now. But... Uh, uh, maybe I'm not paying attention. Fell, fell, I don't fell just got an extra life. Yeah, Fell is the one who has the lives displaying. Okay, other people have seen lives on every stream. Fine. Oh, Tempest Roll so, has one now. The, the screen that Fell was in just then with the lava, uh, that lava kills you if you have an odd amount of health. You need either two or four stars of health. Otherwise, okay. that lava right there will murder you. This music is just a little bit weird to me because uh, there was an old Mormon hymn to this music. And so, hearing it here is just making me think, who's on the Lord's side who? And then it goes into, what would you do with a drunken sailor? And it's even better. It's like, okay, those, those are two very different vibes that I'm getting here. <laughs> I've got to say, there, I, I may have underestimated the difficulty of this game which is possibly because of how much I played this when I was younger and also kind of recently. I was 
I expected a little bit more progress than this, but I kind of get the sense that it's just so weird people are still trying to get to grips with it. You know what? That sometimes is how it goes. Hey, cards! Found the... Not the porta potty whatever it is. Yeah, when you play games as a kid, like, you definitely play them a little way too much. Now is the time to show! And then Drunken Sailor! Yeah! So... I, I don't know. This is really, really making me laugh so much. Like... I'm, I'm glad you're enjoying this. I'm glad I finally got to inflict this on people. It's so good! I really want to play this, Pfizer. Like... This is my jam. Uh, then please do go ahead and play it. I would actually recommend basically everybody plays this. It's... It's a really good game. It's a very odd game, but it's a really good game. I love that you can grab the yin-yang symbols sometimes. Is there a power yeah. that al allows you to grab? Is that is it the that's, teeth? That's, yes, that's the teeth. Gross. Quetzal just needs that blue one in the bottom left. Oh and my gosh! Then it disappeared. No, Quetzal. Quetzal may Quetzal may just be going in an attempt to clear the action stages and go through that way rather than doing the adventure bit. I just love that there are two modes to play, action and adventure, and both are possible for you to beat stuff. Yep. And it is absolutely required that you use both if you actually want to finish all, or finish the final level of the game. Because to reach the castle, um, you need to have all the kittens, because they have to help you row the boat before the, uh, the drawbridge of the castle can close. Okay, cards is used in the urinals. Yeah, progress is judged by kittens rescued. Temp is on the adventure mode on the second stage. Which... Uh, the solution to this puzzle is even more mind-boggling than anything else, and does indeed require an item from the shop. Wait, what? So, depending on which shield you jump on, um, the masthead changes. Okay. Each of the first, each of the lower three shields change the masthead, and the top three shields uh, make different things happen. Uh, and you need the red specs to be able to see a door that appears when you jump on one of the shields. Ah, okay. And that makes sense. Quexel, get the money. You know, perfect. Get rich. You can you can see on uh, on Fell's screen at the moment that there is a little A in the lava, and because Fell has four stars of health, which is not an odd number, they can go in and pick up that A, which is uh, actually a spaceship. Yes, yeah, spaceship. It's, it's it's a spaceship from the game Asteroids, which is the game that you have to play to beat the final boss. Uh huh. Okay, Poexel made a bucket appear. And he is just going to move on to the next section, the next action uh, stage. That, if, if uh, with the way things are at the moment, um, I think if you do all of the action stages, I think you can at most get three or four kittens. But that would still be a total lead at this point. Oh yeah, that's completely fine. Although Poexel just managed to fill out the entire musical stave again instantly. Nice. He bought a star. That star is health, so that's incredibly useful if uh, he is indeed going for the complete all action stages variant. Oh yeah. Okay, Fell is in a volcano, it looks like. Or maybe it, maybe not. I think Fell has already found everything that can be found on this level. 
but uh, this is the only level in the game that you have to finish by beating all of the action stages. Okay. So Fel does indeed need to go back to head mode. Fel's Fel going to try and got the try, try out the different specs and see uh, see what can be seen. But the green specs will do no good here, unfortunately. Oh, no, not the green specs. Well, that is um, unfortunate. I, I, I really want to see somebody get to the most horrific level in the game, which I suspect will give at least a couple of people in chat nightmares. Uh-oh. Out of interest, has anyone in chat played this before? Or am I the only one? I mean, as far as I know, you're the only one. Oh, Dana. I, mean, I, I figure... Excellent, Dana. Excellent. Uh... I, I wouldn't be surprised if a few of the other British types around here, uh, Amy perhaps, have also played this. And yes, I did indeed make uh, Tristan play this. <laughs> um, because I wanted a second opinion on whether this was weird enough for Kusa. Uh, for anyone who is familiar with this game, I'll just say that the level I'm talking about... And this game is also on uh, DOS, Atari ST... I think it's only on those two systems as well as Amiga, but the uh, the level I'm talking about is the one which has the background music of uh, how much is that doggy in the window. Um, uh. That level will horrify people. Oh hey, Tempestrol managed to uh, get on a plane and has now made it to the terrifying clown. No, ah! Tempestrol doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> Tempest Troll! <laughs> <laughs> Tempest Troll! Uh, yeah, it does actually have a fishbone key, which is of no use to them now, so uh -oh. they can swap items. Um, you can give. You, you put an item into the Lucky Dip, and uh, the, uh, the clown will give you an item in return. Oh, that's so scary! But, uh, if you if you try to take one of the other items, then the clan will electrocute you because it wants very specific items in exchange. He electrocutes you? Yeah. I do not like this clown. Oh, the teddy bear was exchanged for a ring just then. I think the ring can be chain can be. Uh, given over for the shovel, and the shovel is a necessary item, as is the match. So those are both necessary in adventure mode? I believe so, if you are trying to beat the game and get the good ending. I just love the idea that this game has a good ending. Uh, it's kind of got an ending, and that's it. <laughs> it's got an ending, or you get to level 9 and finish level 9, and then it goes, Oh, you didn't rescue all the kittens, sorry. Oh, no. The biggest part of doing anything in this game, honestly, is just grinding out the money for all of the items that you need. Yeah, it seems like that could take a little while. There are ways of speeding that up. Um, every bubble that is on screen when you finish the stave that you haven't popped is worth $15. So if you kind of don't pick up bubbles that you don't need, um, and then you finish a level or something like that, or, uh, or you complete the stave, then you're getting bonus cash from that. I'm enjoying the music. Oh, hell! Got a game over. It looks like Cards Ugh. is in the loo. Okay. <laughs> it's just occurred to me that's actually the third toilet on stage one. Because you've got the, the men's toilet and the women's toilet down the bottom of the well, but then you've also got the one that the, the dog was in. Oh no, Cards, you gotta, you gotta use the carrot on a stick. You can't get uh, through cards. without carrots. Cards doesn't have the carrot on the stick, so uh, the, the donkey is not going to let Cards get through. <laughs> he went through the wall! Oh, I love it. Ha! Ha! 
everything kind of bleeds when bonked. Why did the the leaves turn into televisions and stereos? Why not? On Tempestrals. Like, I, I think that's great. I mean, Just a it's, lot. it's clearly an artistic statement about how nature is being replaced by technology, and also peanuts are delicious. Oh yeah, that's true. Have you ever picked peanuts? Like, gone and no. harvested peanuts? They're the I've strangest plants. Because they look like weeds that are growing out. Uh, because they're just strange, viney, kind of leafy. And then you pull them out and they're like a hundred peanuts. And you just that. get... Yeah, you just pull them from all of the vine stuff and pull up the hundreds of peanuts. It's weird. I feel like I'm going to have to actually like look up uh, peanut picking on YouTube because I've never even thought about this before, and now I'm really curious. Yeah, you need to check that out. Oh, excuse me. It is very late here. Yeah, yeah, I don't think I've ever seen a, a peanut plant before. Um, I'm, I'm definitely going to have to look into this because now I'm kind of worried that this is going to be creepy and weird. And hmm. They're a little creepy looking, but they're really not that bad. No, it's peanuts! Relin! Oh my gosh! <laughs> I will say, the uh, the crossword is also a really good way of getting money. You succeed on the crossword, you get $500, and the oh hidden screens on any of the levels that have them. Unfortunately, money doesn't carry over between levels. But that's we arguably also a good thing, because it means that you don't need to worry about saving money. Oh yeah, that's great. We need to get you, you Jeff just... here. Wherever Jeff XVX is. Oh, Jeff, you're here. Can you do some crosswords for us? We really need your help. You can see on, assuming I'm not lagging, Tempestral screen. It had hidden screen in the shop. And it costs $100. Uh, but you make more than that from doing the screen. So it is always worth doing them, I believe. There may be one that's not worth it. But yeah, to, to properly do the whole thing with the clown, you need the spiked cola from the first stage. Um, and you need to swap over items until he accepts Aha! that. And he drinks it and you can steal his stuff. There we go. We've got the shovel and the present. Or rather, he gives you better uh, deals and you can get all of the items that you need. Ooh, Jeff, he actually has really good strats. You, uh, you make them meet at the uncommon letters. At least the least common that you can. That way you have space to put any of the others if, you know, all they have are common letters. That, that sounds sensible. Clever, Jeff. Clever. I think I just wound up kind of brute forcing them and learning which, uh, how to solve each puzzle. So I think they are, I think it's always the same puzzle on each level, or you get the puzzles in the same order, I can't remember. It has been a while since I've played this properly. <laughs> but back when, I, back when I first wanted to give this out, I was looking at the DOS version. And as I mentioned earlier, unfortunately the DOS version that is available online is missing a level. Um, and I was going to buy the DOS version off eBay. Um, and kind of package it and sort it out myself so there's a working version floating around. Assuming that the DOS version does have a fully working version anywhere. You know, hopefully um, it does. But yeah, but the, the one copy I could find on eBay was something like 70 or 80 pounds. And I love WizKid, but I don't love WizKid that much. Aww. Not at this point, anyway. I love WizKid oh, no. that much. Buy WizKid for me. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go and check again, actually. I'm gonna go and look on eBay. 
I've also discovered recently that there is apparently a rapper named Wizkid. Uh, oh, I thought you meant like a candy rapper for a second. <laughs> you know, music rapper definitely sounds much more reasonable there. Uh, Amiga Boxed is £20. Okay. I'm only, I'm only looking at UK ones. Uh, Pre-owned version of the PC one is like £30. <laughs> Ooh, 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 did I heard someone say restroom door maze. That's a really secret and bizarre area. Um, which can be exploited. There are almost no clues as to what you can actually do with that, but uh, yeah. I, incidentally, I have no idea who's winning at this point. Uh, someone's winning. They've, they've the all audience. gotten cats, I think. At this point, I kind of feel, I, I feel like I'm winning. I'm winning, I, I love this. Fling the snouts at people. Yeah, obviously you're winning. <laughs> like, this game is a blast to watch. Oh man, I think that the, uh... What do you think? I'm looking at eBay, if I'm looking at this correctly, it looks like the disc for WizKid is actually a five and a half inch floppy. Five and a half inch floppy! Oh, sorry, several. Oh, well that's even better, that means we get high quality stuff. Oh, it's been a while since I've used floppies. Yeah, exactly. The viewers win. We are having a lot of fun with WizKid. But I, I think they're enjoying this. Honestly, if there is a game that I had to play for an hour or so, this is completely cool. I will bear that in mind. Oh, five and a quarter. Sorry. Yes. Ah, I'm just happy I got to get this out. Yeah. I think Tristan has the right of it. This game is slightly unusual. Someone's getting married. And guess what? It's this green headed dude. <laughs> Aw. I'm so happy for him. Good. You know what? You know what would work well for the wedding? Buy the carrot on a stick. Yeah, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Marriage time, baby. Not not the diamond, but the carrot on the stick. Yeah, who cares about the diamond? Diamonds are dumb. Seriously. Diamonds are... They are not known for their intelligence. I will grant you that. Stupid diamonds. Okay, it looks like Tempestrol just gave the newspaper to the dog. That's very kind of you. He still looks a little bit scary, though. Not, not gonna lie, you know, he's got that look on his face that he's like, hey, maybe, uh, maybe, uh, I'm gonna cause you some problems. Oh, I'm thoroughly enjoying this. Hey, Fell bought the hidden screen. I forget, what does hidden... the hidden screen do? The hidden screen takes you to an action stage, which has... Ooh. Usually it has one enemy on it and a huge amount of coins. Oh, so nice. you just basically get loads of cash. Uh, unfortunately, Fell had... Ah, there's the hidden screen. You can see it on Fell's screen now. Aha! Look at all the money! 
So you just get all of the money and then kill the enemies afterwards and you will, in all but I think one case, wind up making more money than you spent. I think there is one hidden screen which doesn't, but I might be wrong about that. It's been a while since I've finished this. Ah. Okay, it looks like Cards of the Heart stream is having problems again. I'll just do a quick refresh. It'll be back sometime. Yep, Cards does seem to still be online in Discord, but uh, that may change rapidly if uh, Cards Internet has died again, unfortunately. You know what? That That's... Everybody knows who to blame. Faizu. Kowal. Kowal. What? Actually, neither of those answers is right, Comcast. Uh, your chat claims it's Kowal. Oh, apparently it's... No, Nightbot claims it's Kowal. Nobody else does. Chat, can we blame Kowal? I, I, I want to I wanna get some agreement here. Oh, but it's marriage time again, Faizu. <laughs> Who's getting married this time? Oh, Relin blames OBS. That is that is okay as well. You may blame OBS. Wow, uh, Tempest Roll just bought everything in the shop. Nice. And could actually buy another star at this point, I think, and get free money. Because that's how this game works. <laughs> Yeah, I think that Fel is very weirded out by the fact that the uh, keeps killing him on that screen when it never used to before. Wait, what was killing him? The lava. Oh. In, in, in the volcano. Is it that... kills you if you if you have an odd amount of health, it kills you. You need to have an even number of uh, stars. What? I have no idea why. That's so That's... dumb. That's one of the few things that makes zero sense to me in this game. Most of the other stuff I can kind of understand based on weird internal logic. I mean, is there a manual for this game? Yes. Did you give it out? Yes. Okay. Can you give it to me? Yes. Aha. Oh, it's okay. Very... I found it. I found it. It's, it's a very useful manual. It does have some hints and tips at the end where it does mention this. It's a, a hint number four says the lava flow can't kill if something is even. Okay, I'm taking a look. Using acquire the rounds crossword position. There's a lot the of very... actually helpful information. It is really useful. But yeah, at the very, very end, it uh, has hints and tips. In the cave maze, go through the exit even though it's not there. Try room 32 to see what is where. The cave maze is a very secret area which is not needed to... You don't need to visit it, but there are things in there. Oh, it does say the lava flow can't kill if something is even. Yep. It's still it also dumb. notes that you, you don't have to pick up the kitten if you don't want to progress to the next round immediately. I mean, of course, you know, who wants to move on to the next round? <laughs> Just sit it back actually, a little bit. Those, those hints and tips are actually useful. Money can't be transported between rounds. The lucky dip takes an object as well as giving you one. Uh, do what you can't in the past, which is a slightly esoteric clue to one of the later levels. Aha. Uh -huh. And BD Snail gave these hints. Thank you, BD Snail. Ah, uh, BD Snail is, uh... A uh, very useful guy. He gives out the tutorial at the beginning of the game, and ooh. Uh -huh. Okay, it looks like Puexel is deciding not to shop. He just. He's just been playing a full-on action mode. Yep, and that is definitely a way of playing this game. Uh, we're back to Tempestrol's jamming elementary, my dear wizard. I do have a question, though. Uh, what N determines which round you go to? Which kitten you pick up. Oh. So, 
to get all of the kittens, you need to uh, pick up very specific ones. Gotcha. So, will anything take you to previous rounds, or can you only move forward? Nope, you can only move forward. Okay, so if you skip through... Oh! Oh, it's over time! Ah! Ah! <laughs> I'm sorry, I was really into this game! <laughs> oh my gosh. This is what happens. What? Ugh. Remind me never to give out a game that you're roasting again. I like it, though! It's so good! Well, it looks like people enjoyed this game. They're really <laughs> glad that they had the opportunity to play it. I believe Tempestrol takes the victory. Everybody got I'm, one kitten. I, I believe it was just the order they got the kittens in. It must have been. I mean, nobody can move on. We could call it a four-way tie. Tempestrol says they think they got two. <laughs> I like that everyone's like, we have no idea how we're scoring this. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but, I mean, I know how to score it, but uh, I'd have to go and watch the VOD again because I wasn't paying that much attention. Oh, boy. Yeah, well... I mean, I, I, I was, but I was trying to explain things, and explaining this game is a full-time job. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy we, uh, we got that. That was fun. Oh, yeah, I definitely enjoyed that. What a train wreck? Wow, cards. Wow. <laughs> I am inviting anyone who wants to talk about the game. Come on in. Oh, Relin, thank you for those gift subs. Aw, hey, you are way overly subs. nice. That uh, is generous. Yeah. Hello, Tempestrol. Hello, Fell Temp. Hello. 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 Wow, that game is awesome. What, is this Kuso Grind or is this Mystery Tournament? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Faizu's having a little I'm, bit of fun. He, he enjoyed this. He really I, loved watching this. I loved watching this. I, I love this game. I It's a legitimately good game. It's just so weird. Oh, yeah, it's awesome. Oh, yeah, it's yeah. The, most, the most juvenile art game I've ever played. <laughs> <laughs> That's a really good way of describing it. Yeah, that sounds about right, but at the same time, you know, it's good to have games that, like, I fully uh, am okay with people having games that are there just to be fun, you know, to be a little bit nonsensical, and I it feel was, like this game was. It's it's so weird that it kind of counts, but I wouldn't have given it out if it wasn't a, a 5B match. I, I thought we could have a, a bit of fun with this match. Yeah, this was like probably the first game that I've played of the four uh, where I, I played for about 30 seconds and I went, oh, I understand. It just something clicked and I, I didn't do super well, but I was like, oh, I totally understand how this game works. Like there's a weird intuitiveness to the physics, you know? The physics are really, really well done. I'm not sure how well that comes across watching it. It does Okay. Nope. Yeah, it, it took me a few minutes, but once I got it, I, it really actually felt good to play. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah, especially with like the throwing, like the chomping power up. If you, you can just sort of let go without moving, and it'll drop a block. But if you sort of uh, speed towards an enemy and and let go of it, it'll fly like with somewhat realistic physics. It's, it feels really good to play. Yeah, that's actually really surprising. Like, I, I'm not gonna lie. I'm glad that it felt sort of intuitive and good to use. So apparently, there's actually a good ending for this game. Uh, if anybody uh, wants to go, it's by getting all of the kittens and doing every round. Yep, you, you need to get uh, a kitten in every single round. and I'll... A lot of the kittens will skip you ahead to later rounds. This means you have to do things in a very particular order, uh, which takes a lot of trial and error or using a walkthrough on the internet. 
Yeah, yeah, I couldn't figure out how to... Is it possible to get more than one kitten per stage? No. Okay, so... Good, I didn't try to go for that. <laughs> I love it. No. <laughs> I popped off when I got the crossword, though. <laughs> oh my gosh, the crosswords were pretty funny. Like I was like, you're gonna make fun of me for, for trying this, but... It's I, I I just love the fact that it just randomly has crossword puzzles yeah. appearing. Yeah, like why? That was the it biggest thing for me. I did not expect cro expect crosswords at all, but there we go. Yeah, one. yeah it felt like it threw so many things in it, and it's they're so different, but somehow I felt like it made a whole just kind of like the weirdness of it. It just kind of I don't know. It didn't feel like it was a different game suddenly in a weird way. No, it it totally <laughs> felt like a, a game that some guy made in his basement was like, yeah, I'll just, you know, I'll put crosswords in. Why not? I love crosswords. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a big crossword fan, and we're going to make a game that kind of has that. Yeah, exactly. Oh, well. Yeah, I, I have no idea what went into the making of this game or what the thought process was, but somehow they managed to, Sensible Software managed to come up with a really good game that makes almost no sense whatsoever. Yeah, I, I would agree. I'm glad that you had fun, though. Like, honestly, we tend to focus a lot on the bad side of Kuso, but this definitely falls into that weird side, and it, I'm, I'm glad that you had fun. <laughs> yeah, thanks for having me in the tournament. Yeah, sure thing. Congre like, great job, both of you. I know that everybody in your group is out. It's a little bit sad, but we will be back next year, so don't you worry. I'd love to have you back. I went out on a high note. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'll definitely be back. Thank you so much as well, Faizu, and take care, all of you. Right, Not later. a problem. Thank you, bro. Well, everybody, this is Kuso Grande, the Bad Video Game Tournament. I want to give a shout out again to uh, uh, people. Relin, for those gift subs to people. Yeah, thank you, people. Relin, thank you again for those gift subs. Thank you, Biospark, for the 200 bits. Thank you, Nuclear Potato, for the host. Uh, Biospark for resubscribing. Love to people. Uh, and I know that I miss some people. 